Hello and welcome to 2023 and the first thing that I enjoy doing at the beginning of each year is organizing myself, organizing my creative projects, organizing my own personal projects for my own well-being and organizing myself for work and my doctorate program. So in order to do that, I've always enjoyed journaling and at the end of the year, I purchase new journals. So. I do two things. I like to make it an experience. So what I've been using for the past three or four years is what's called a novel journal. So this is the one I used last year. The journal is a novel journal. So this one is based upon William Blake. And when you open up the novel journal, you'll see the lines are words from the actual story. So they don't have regular lines like you find in a regular journal. They actually have words from the novel that make up the lines on your line paper. I found these at a bookstore in Chicago, and this year they did not have them at the bookstore when I went back over the holidays. So I found them on Amazon. So this year I am using actually uh, a Sherlock Holmes novel is my novel journal. And I use this, I write in it every day and I just write my thoughts, my hopes, my aspirations, just what I'm going through, different things to journal. That's what I do each day. And I've been journaling gosh, for over 20 years. I go out and buy a new journal at the beginning of the year, and I use that journal for the entire year, and then I buy a new journal at the end of the year. Now, to organize my creative projects, I use another journal. So I found this one at a bookstore in Chicago. It says, I am a man. The significance of this is that in 1968, there was the garbage, garbage workers strike, and MLK participated in it. And this was the slogan, I am a man that the garbage workers carried around to signify that they had dignity and honor and they were worthy of respect when they were negotiating for equal pay, more benefits, and to be treated better in their places of employment. So something that really stood out and was significant to me when I found this journal and I organized my creative projects for the year. So I break my creative projects up into 12 weeks interval intervals. So following the book, the 12 week year, what I do is I simply divide the year up into 12 week periods and then I insert my creative projects into that. So this year, for example, I am working on my writing. I want to post to my blog on a daily basis. And then I also want to work on my own individual writing to publish another novel. I have two novels that I've published. I want to publish a third. So in January, I'm just going to write five minutes a day. Then in February, I'm going to up it to 10 minutes a day, March 15 minutes a day, April 20 minutes a day, May 25 minutes a day, and then 30 minutes a day in June. The purpose of that is building a habit. If I build a habit of writing every day, if I show up every single day and I have this organized period of time, then my chances of success increase. So. Think about that when you're putting together your goals, your resolutions, if you want to call them that. Look at yourself as managing them throughout the entire year or a period. If you put them that way, they'll be easily managed and you can take them one day at a time, drip by drip, piece by piece, and your chances of success will increase. So don't be a person who sets a goal or sets a resolution and then abandons it you know, a week later. Pick it back up and just work on it bit by bit, piece by piece. All right, that's it for today, setting up your new year. I'll see you soon. Stephen Thompson, bye-bye.